Welcome to the Sphere of Grace. I am Pastor Shogun Baji. Thank you for tuning in and God bless you. Today we are looking at the power of purity. Now what is purity? Purity simply means your thoughts, your words, and your actions being in sync with God's word. That's what purity is. It is likened unto godliness, acting like God. And it is holiness. The Bible says, as your heavenly Father is holy, it says we should be holy in all conversation. You see, purity delivers in our into our hands great dividends. When a man walks in purity, all right, you can tap into depths in the things of God. You can increase in grace as you walk in purity. The Bible speaks of our Lord Jesus Christ in Hebrews chapter 1. <clears throat> if you start reading here from verse 9, it says, Because you have loved righteousness and hated iniquity, therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed thee with the oil of joy or gladness above thy fellows. You see, there's something about purity that brings excellence in the things of God. When you walk in purity, you excel. That means you're incomparable to none. You rise above everything around you, everyone around you. Purity is good for you. It brings you to a place where you can discern the will of God clearly because your mind is renewed and it becomes easy to understand what God is saying to you. And that's why the Bible tells us to not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our mind that we may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Now you'll be able to prove the will of God, you'll be able to tell what God would have you do, you'll be able to enter into it because God is holy, your mind is pure, and you can see through His will and design His plan for you. It's very important you embrace purity. Glory to God. And the Bible tells us in 1 Peter 2 and verse 11, 1 Peter 2 and verse 11, he says, Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts which war against the soul. You see, fleshly lusts war against the soul. You see, that means impurities in the atmosphere, lustful things, sinful things. They war against the soul. And again, the Bible tells us in 3 John verse 2, he says, that I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospers. So that means your prosperity in life is dependent on the prosperity of your soul. Now don't forget in 1 Peter 2 11 it tells us that the lust of the flesh war against the soul. So any man who does not embrace purity allows the lust of the flesh to war against his soul and as the war continues the soul cannot prosper and because the soul is not prospering the man is not prospering so you see purity delivers into your hand prosperity practical prosperity you prosper indeed because your soul is not in any war battle against those things that are around you impurity around you and that's why it is important you embrace purity Today, purge yourself of everything that is alien to the nature of God that you have received. Refuse to allow any uncleanness come into you, for God has not called us unto uncleanness, but unto holiness. And learn to possess your vessel in holiness, in sanctification, and honor. That is your calling. Praise God. And you see, in purity, there's peace. In purity, there's defense. In purity, there's security. In purity, you increase in grace. In purity, you walk in excellence. In purity, you can design the will of God. Don't get into anything that will distract you from the race that is set before you because there's a race to run, and so you have to run it in patience, following through, and not allowing the sins that don't easily beset you, you know, come and clog the wheel of your progress. Make progress daily in God and reach your goal in destiny. That's the power of purity. I believe you've been blessed today. Until I come your way again tomorrow, keep living and basking in the sphere of grace. I love you and God bless you.